Zephaniah chapter 4. The angel, the messenger, the ambassador, the Mali, that talked, subdued, teach, think, entreats, the angel that talked with me, the angel that showed me, came again and waked me. He raised me up. He stirred me up. Rather identical through the idea of opening of eyes to wake. He waked me. Open my eyes as a man that is wakened out of his sleep and said unto me, What seest thou? And I said, I have looked and behold a candlestick, all of gold. Now, now it says gold meaning to shimmer in a golden color. You see where it says in the bottom, a clear sky right in the center? Figuratively color, a clear sky. Okay, so he's looking at a golden candlestick, and a candlestick isn't a candlestick. You see what it is? It's actually a chandelier. All right, so he's looking at an image of a chandelier that is golden. Now look at what we what happens right here. I, I peeked ahead. So when we go to bowl, look at this. It says bowl is in here. We'll go down here. Let's raise this up. It says a fountain, a bowl, or a globe. Now, when you hear all those things, if you were playing like uh, uh, what's what's the thing where you draw stuff and then people guess? Is that like categories or something like that? But that's what right. Fountain, a bowl, and a globe. What comes to mind, right? And of course, you're you're gonna think, oh, the Earth, right? So what he's saying is like, I'm looking at a bowl, right? That's in a you know a bowl shape of a you know what we call a globe today, but it's really a, a globe, right? It's really a bowl. When you look at the images of uh, So, let's see if this comes up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, look at this. When you look at this square and stationary Earth, you see the globe. Everybody sees the globe that's in everybody's science class. But it doesn't actually look like the globe. What it looks like is half of the globe. Right? Being ripped open and peeled outside. Right? One's concave. Right? And you see this sweeping motion as the line goes down and curves back over just like a breast. Keeping it clean. Keeping it clean. Yeah. If we just, never mind. And then comes back down and curves back up. Now, doesn't that resemble a fountain where, uh, excuse me, a nipple would be? You see the lines protruding from there as if it would be water. You see how it's the globe like we've been taught, but you see how it's a bowl like the people in the past have been taught. You see how it's a combination of all of it, kind of, sort of. It's still kind of flat. It's kind of a bowl. It's kind of, this is... The image where everybody is right. You can't win any argument with this. Anybody, well, clearly there's a globe in there. Clearly there's a bowl in there. Clearly that's flat. So, you know, it's 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 a it's an unwinnable series of arguments. So 
This is what he's seeing. And I would imagine that's the image. Except for where that fountain was, right? There's a candlestick, a chandelier of gold, right? Now, up on the top of it, and his seven lamps thereon, and his seven pipes to the seven lamps. So the pipes, properly something poured out, that is a casting metal, implication of a tube, right? So that's what they say, and we're just listening. You know, right? And then the lamps, properly meaning glisten of a lamp or a burner, a light, candle lamp or a light. Okay, so again, seven lamps there on seven pipes to seven lamps which are upon the top thereof. Now, wonder. Yeah, it's an interesting. Nothing comes up over here when you click on that. They're very. It's 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 a it's it's a the mystery. Right. All right. So we have seven lamps. We have seven pipes. We'll keep that in mind. A candlestick, which is actually a chandelier. Now let's read on and see if it just tells us what it is anyway. And two olive trees or two trees by it one upon the right side of the bowl and the other upon the left side thereof so i answered and spake because he asked what did you see i answered and spake to the messenger to the ambassador that talked with me saying what are these my lord now he's going to tell us what he thinks they are and he says then the angel talked to me and answered and said to me, Knowest thou not what these be? And I said, No, no, my lord. Because he's not talking to the actual issue. He's, just, he's talking to a messenger. And he asked, then he asked, excuse me, then he answered and spake unto me, saying, This is the word of the, the issue unto Zerubbabel, saying, Not by might nor by power but by my spirit save the issue of hosts or the issue of hell of the elohim who art thou o great mountain before zerubbabel thou shalt become a plain and he shall bring forth the headstone thereof with shouting, crying, grace, grace. The hands of Zerubbabel have laid the foundation of this house. His hands shall also finish it. Thou shalt know that the issue of hosts hath sent me unto you. For who hath despised the day of small things? For they shall rejoice and shall see the plummet. Oh, the plummet is a plumb bob. That's what you call a plumb bob today. It is the weight that dangles on a string. The ground is flat, so I'll bring one up. When there is no images, when there is no moment, uh, momentum, there, when it hangs from it hangs from a string, the point. You know, shows you the level wall where it's built. 
So for who hath despised the day of small things, for they shall rejoice and see the plummet in the hand of Zerubbabel with those sevens. Seven, excuse me. They are the eyes of the Ishi which run to and fro throughout the whole earth. So what are these pipes? Are these shoots for them to go and run to and fro? Now think about who else have we heard that has the power to run to and fro? Now, it does not say when they run to and fro, uh, to and fro the, through the earth that they do bad things. It, you know, of course they are working for the issue here. Then answered I and said unto him, What are these two trees? Now again, Olive does not have any numbers near it. All right, so they're just presuming that it's Olive. Uh, again, it's saying a tree of the berry, of the branch, or berry. And when you say one or the other, that's saying that you don't know. And so when you don't know, you have no, we have no idea if it was an almond tree. We have no idea if it was a damn maple tree. You know, he's just saying stuff. And you have to keep an eye out for things like this. Now, and so he answered and said unto him, What are these two trees upon the right side of the candlestick and there upon the left side? I'm sorry for reading that backwards. Oops, you know, no point. And I answered again and said unto him, What of these two olive branches, which through the two golden pipes empty upon the golden oil out of themselves? And he answered and said to me, Knowest thou not what these be? And I said, No. No, my lord. And then he said, excuse me, then said he, these are the two anointed ones that stand by the Lord of the whole earth. Now, now these pipes are not pipes, they are tubes. <laughs> in these olive trees. Now it's a, now it's an olive tree. Um, excuse me, I'm just reading it. Probably from an unused root akin to two nine uh, two zero nine nine. So this is a month of flowers. So they. An olive is yielding illuminating oil, the tree, the branch, or berry. So, again, it seems that they're taking a guess based on their presumption of what was growing in the area at the time. Uh, it doesn't seem that the word olive is actually written in there. Again, because it's from the root to... 099, nothing about 2099 says. Uh, let's go a little bit. Oh, it just goes too fast. Two zero nine nine, and then H211. Yeah, no, there's there's nothing that actually states what fruit it is. You know, I, I mean, it is, it is a fruit that produces uh, golden or, or or oil out of it. Presumably clear, because it seems to be that the word golden is is used again in talking about the chandelier which the pipes lead from or or or, or, or up by the pipe I, I, 
this is a little hard to to get a mental picture of but again there you have it uh It's very interesting. You see he's a third eye or, or something of that nature is woken up and now he can see these things on a spiritual level. And again, up at the top he sees a golden candlestick, right? Uh, or excuse me, a golden chandelier. Uh, presumably it could be, you know, the sun or something different. There's nothing that relates that it's the sun. It could be anything. Um... But this is, you know, this is very deep, especially, you know, Zerub, Zerubbabel's helpers, you know, uh, and, and then considering Joshua's position that we, we learned in the last chapter. So until the next chapter.